Hey vendors, my name is Carly Harrington and I'm the Outreach Director at Ground Zero. Uh, we wanted to get this video sent out to you all just so that you have a few tips and tricks ahead of time to how best manage um, the Dragon Boat Festival. So if you can see behind me, we are. this is where the vendor area is going to be set up. So this is right off of Forbes Court and we're going to show you all how to get there um, at some point in this video and you'll be setting up all around here. When you get here to check in, you're going to drive past where the races actually take place on these big beautiful lakes right here. Um, so make sure you're not parking on that side to check in. Um, stay tuned in this video and we're gonna show you exactly where you need to be going. Here is Faro Parkway. If you're coming from Business 17, you're gonna be coming towards Market Common, go through the light that's behind me that goes past Myers Avenue and you're gonna be making a right turn onto Forbes Court. Once you get onto Forbes Court, you're gonna head all the way down to the end and turn left, and that will put you at the vendor parking area. If you're coming from the Market Common area, um, you're gonna make sure you get all the way through that downtown kind of area and make a left turn onto Forbes Court. If you get to Myers Avenue, that traffic light, you've gone too far. Now, once you get onto Forbes Court, Make sure you're heading all the way down and again, make that left turn into the vendor parking area. This is Forbes Court and at the end of Forbes Court, that is where our vendor parking area is going to be for you all. Um, so check-in Friday night is 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. and Saturday morning is 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. Now, just as a reminder, we cannot guarantee there's gonna be parking here Saturday morning because there's gonna be different sport games happening around the area. Um, so we ask that vendors, you have one car in this spot and anyone else that's coming to help you, please have them park across at the Market Commons side. Um, you have the street parking there, the parking garage, it's all free. And then if you all can just somehow carpool over here, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, so this is where you guys are gonna be checking in. We're gonna have a tent here um, with some of our volunteers who are gonna have the list of where your spot assignment is at. We're not gonna give that out before the day of the festival just for logistical purposes, so make sure you are stopping at this tent. When you do, they're gonna be able to show you where the spot is. We're gonna have utility carts that you guys are gonna be able to use that a volunteer will drive for you. Just as a reminder again, food vendors, if you have a truck and a trailer, you guys need to be here Friday night because day of the festival that morning, it's just gonna be crazy and vehicles are not allowed in this area. Um, so again, that time is 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday morning when you get here. You can still check in. The volunteers are still gonna be here with the utility carts to help you, but you're not able Able to bring your car into the park area. So make sure you are prepared for that. So this is where if you have a truck or a trailer, you're gonna be coming in. And these tree limbs are a little low. So I'm about six foot, um, if that's any reference for you all. I'd say they're probably about eight feet. So if you have a trailer bigger than that, please let us know ahead of time so we can contact the city and see how we can best work that out for you all. So once you get to your spot and are setting up, please do not move your spot or change your spot. We have every spot in a very specific location um, and we have you all assigned to us that spot for that reason. So please do not move that once you are there. Um, we do have security on Friday night, but we are not liable for anything that's taken. So just please be prepared for that. Um, but they will be on site that entire night into the morning. If you need a generator, please make sure you are bringing that because we will not provide that for you and make sure that it is a quieter generator. All right, so that is all we have for you. Hopefully this helped you all kind of get a better understanding of what festival check-in is gonna look like. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My phone number is 269-422-7096 or respond to this email and I will respond to you as quick as I can. See you on race day.